Hello everyone and welcome to Frank and Drake given to me by Abnormals Team. I don't know much about this, but some of the screenshots when I was looking at it caught my fancy. So let's see what headphones recommended for a better experience. Good thing is I always wear headphones when I'm doing these. This game contains flashes of lights that could trigger seizures for people with visual sensitivities. This is a cinematic interactive adventure where your choices have long lasting consequences. The perspectives and experiences of the different characters are present through visual storytelling and written documents. A single playthrough would tell one of the many possible stories. Only by making different choices in subsequent playthroughs will the whole truth be revealed. Also, thank you for allowing me to click when I was ready, because a lot of games, they just zoom through and I never get to read. I like the art style so far, I've got to admit. Zoom. Frank and Drake. Day one. I actually wonder how long the playthroughs are for these ones. Uh, dude, are you drunk? I'm gonna guess you're Frank. I like the rustling paper. Don't know why. Oh, that music's nice. It's loud. Can I? Hold on. Can I? Hold on. Let me turn that down a little bit. Okay. How do I? How do I one? Oh, okay. Point and click. Okay, that's a wheel. Skull belt. Very nice belt. A two-in-one to remind you how short time is and how loose your pants are. <laughs> Fair enough. Is that magic eight ball? It will come back. What will come back? Are we scavenging? Is that what it is? Nice artwork! <laughs> is that a kazoo he's got in his mouth? That crab's moving. I just noticed that crab was moving. Oh, I love this art style. I don't know what it's called though. Oh, if someone knows, please let me know. Warning, vandals will be prosecuted. I can't read that because he's blocking it. Okay, so a static bicycle is a wheel. Pole is ropes. Okay, so um, grocery coffee cereals, pharmacy, buy a mega, and play card games. So, am I doing like a shopping list here? Monday, last night's adventures featured me sitting on top of a winding dune on a scorching sunny day. Then it seemed to dissolve into me sitting on the edge of a dock on a rainy night. Can't see a thing. The sunlight hinders my sight and at night the heavy rain does the same. What was I looking at? Tuesday. Quiet night. Nothing to note. Maybe I'm just too worn out from my daily duties. The only thing I remember is feeling someone caressing my head in absolute silence. Wednesday, pitch black. The sound of my heavy breathing and the heart rate monitor. The inky dreamland was punctured, beep by beep, and then I was awake. He's very poetic, I like it. So no to see. Victories and struggles, my left eye hurts at night. <laughs> the funny thing is, my right eye hurts in the morning, because I've got a terrible scratch in it. Can't control or increase my stamina. Ham's happy with me. Is that a doggy? Linda is helping me out with Sophia and Jerry. Underdog's health is under control. Hmm. Okay. One year anniversary at the Dead End building. Every time I make eye contact with Underdog, the connection is so strong, I feel like I've always known him. I had this strange deja vu feeling when I passed by the city clock today, like I had been walking past it my whole life. And other places too. I'm sure I used to live in the city. I believe this is some kind of progress. Graffiti. First there was a mission. Then the worst happened. Someone you know has crossed the line. You have something that belongs to us. It will change the world. We need to find it. Only you know where. And nothing in the diary. Okay. Okay, interesting so far. Oh, that's what I said on the door. Only you know where. 
All right. That's a lot of mail for three B. Three A is mine, I guess. Unraveled the message. The pillow reader. Want to know what's hiding in your subconscious? The pillow reader with more than 40 years of experience will guide you through the intricate world of dreams to find the key. Call now. 934-000-5214. Two times one in readings. Sweet dreams, happy life. Bug out. Keep your home pest free. Our services. General fumigation, rodent control, water tank cleaning, anti-termite treatment, bed bugs, extermination, low risk pest yeah. no risk pesticides when possible. Satisf I can't word today. Satisfaction guaranteed 902476820 www.bugoutpestservices.com bugout at contact.com Oh, that's me, Frank. Okay, I can't do anything with that. Interesting. Flyers. Okay, so there's two in here that I can... Oh, maybe a couple? Bug out, no. Nope, oh, done that one as well. Ink and out. Highest quality, small tattoo, $20. Medium tattoo, $35. Large tattoo, $50. Half sleeve, $130. And a full sleeve, $210. 14 Benson Street, O'Ride City. Open 24 hours, 7 days a week. I, those are nice prices, but I'm not sure if that's actually standard ones. Healthy poor, animal health care. Don't buy, adopt. Veterinary Clinic, 7 Du Bois Street, 24 hours days, 7, 24 hour days, uh, you know, we'll go with that. Telephone, 9705670021. Now 20% off discount on your first visit. Oh, that's interesting. Who lives here? Okay. Please keep the door closed, thank you. Want to take a trip down memory lane without having to wake? Okay, there, there is a lot of things to read. Holy hell. Okay, so let's see. No one lives at 3B anymore. Okay. 3A is... That's me, 3A. Hmm. James, Patrick Aubrey, Linda, Sophia, Frank, and no one lives in 3B. Got it. Certification of inspection visits, inspection date, inspection certificates, and purpose. Golden Cat, Chinese food, 27 Maryland Avenue. Farmer's Market, fresh food locally grown and organic vegetables, fruit, meat and fish, dairy, fresh baked pies, artisan soap and more. Next weekend, farm to table. Auction, the content of 12 freight containers are up for auction. Location, C Oak Pier 7, registration 12 and... I actually wonder with some of these, is that actually, are they actually legit or they just washed ashore and just like free for all grabs? Want to take a trip down memory lane without having to wake up at 7am on a Saturday or eat diabetes inducing cereal? If you're a fan of the golden age of cartoons and no one understands why you're stuck in the past, this meetup is right up your alley and, well, takes place in an alley. But not to worry, it's a safe haven for full of cartoons from the 50s and 60s to watch and talk about. Give me a ring. And uh, what's this last one? Oh no wait, I clicked on that. Is there one more? Oh there is. Well, I didn't really need to... okay. Some of these I didn't need to look at. Oh god. Oh! Dude! Squeaky shoes! Why are your shoes so squeaky? Okay, I need to go the stairs again because I am. Is it 3 a.m.? Yeah, 3 a.m. I'm pretty sure. I like the sound effects, but my god, his shoes. Did anyone just hear a cat, or was that just me? That was a cat, right? I'm not hearing things. Oh, wait, there's a cat right over there. I think that's a cat or is that a bird nest. Oh, 
Dora B. I don't know what it says on his back. Hi, Frankie Han. How are you, love? And how's Underdog, that grizzled old tail wagger? Everything going smoothly in the building? Is there something to sign in with that needs buying? The fact that I keep quiet most of the time has nothing to do with indifference, but with my complete trust in you, you do your job diligently, and you're always ready to shoulder more responsibility. I'm proud of what you've accomplished despite your situation. Keep in mind what we recall during our life is nothing but mental reconstruction, colleges of how things were and how things are now. They're distorted and unreliable, just stories to suit to sell. But you're writing new stories and forming new colleges. Co colleges? Yeah. Just from a different standpoint, you'll be just fine. But maybe you've noticed I've kind of been around the bush and have some news for you. Okay. That's probably just to make it clear for people who can't read very well. I'm sorry for the most. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry for the show. No, show. Shoot. Shoot. No, it is. Shoot. I cannot read English today. This is so bad. I'm sorry for the short notice, but you've... Mm. I'm sorry for the short notice, but you're going to have to make space for a new roommate. Drake Lambert already has a set of keys and arrives tonight. Rest assured, you two shouldn't butt heads since you will probably never bump into each other. Drake only works night shifts. Remember, my dear Frank, several things in life liberate the heart and lead to lasting peace. Making a friend is one of them. The others, well, I think you have them covered. Listen to this old cop and dodger. I learned these things the hard way. One last thing. Your new roomie specifically asked for a bedroom with no windows. Namaste. Uh... Your job or make space? Why is there a gun symbol for that? I, I'm gonna choose this one. It seems safer. Oh, doggo. Tree? So I chose duties over prepare room. That looks right. Okay. What's in the medicine cabinet? Hmm, what's this? Fish oils and omega 3. I can help you with your eyes, your heart, and even your brain. Who knows? Maybe I'll have the answer to all your problems. Imagine if it was that simple. Okay. Neuroplug. Fuel your brain. Didn't you forget something this morning? <laughs> Speaking of, I forgot to take my own meds. Whoops, Daisy. Bathroom break. Oh, I didn't want to hear that. Don't forget to flush. Wash your hands, dude. You're not going to use soap? Oh, there we go. I'm to assume that he washed his hands properly, but just didn't dry him. This feels like such a surreal game. Oh, what did we get? Okay. So we got coffee, milk, and I was looking over those. You have one day left before things get sour over here. Okay. Mmm, coffee. Oh my god, the old-fashioned coffee grinders. I love these. Oh, my uncle used to have one of these exactly like this. Those whole beans turn into ground coffee that sifts through your fingers like memories. But if you look carefully, you'll see some of it has clung to the creases. Philosophical. I like it. Anything else? Oh, cupboard. I can click on the cupboard. Goat flakes? Oh, this is the other stuff that was in there, okay. Uh, what? You sometimes mistake your coat rack for an intruder, so it's just a natural step t 
to start listening to advice from cartoon animals and clothes. I'll go first. Be careful around your nude room, mate. Uh, what? That sounds ominous. Bowl master for gourmet dogs with delicate stomachs. Yeah, he's right. Due to your situation, you can't easily be taken advantage of. What is going on with this game? Ground hot coffee. Taste the coffee of your life over and over again. Find a way to get to know him better, even if you won't get a chance to meet him in person. We all know it's about time you start making real flesh and blood friends. Dude, this game's telling me to touch grass. I don't know if I how I feel about that. Nice sound effects. In the state you're in, I give you superpowers, and in exchange, you betray me by going to a coffee shop. I know you weren't there yes yesterday morning. I can still smell the cinnamon on you. Oh, coffee pot is angry. Is that oh, I can move that door. Basement. Okay, so that's been a very interesting thing. Why is that a wheel there again? Okay, unfortunately, as much as I'm enjoying this game, I am all out of time. Thank you so, so much, Abnormals team, for allowing me to play Frank and Drake. This is turning into an interesting one. I love the art style. I can't remember what exactly it's called, but I'm absolutely enjoying it. And this game's turning philosophical, and listening to inanimate objects is probably not a good sign. But anyway, guys, if you like the content I am putting out, link to my copy is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.